Hello, my name is Justin. I am the Assistant Head of Adult and Teen Services uh, downtown at the Main Library. And the book I'm reading from today has been banned and challenged for having LGBTQIA plus content, for being anti-religious, and for being against community standards. George's magazine collection had started by accident. Two summers ago, she had noticed an old issue of Girls' Life in the recycling bin at the library. The word girl had caught her eye instantly, and she had slipped the magazine in her jacket to look at later. Another girls' magazine soon followed, this time rescued from a trash can down the block from her house. The very next weekend, she had found the denim bag at a yard sale for a quarter. It was just the size of a magazine, and it had a zipper along the top. It was as if the universe had wanted her to be able to store her collection safely. George settled on a two-page spread about framing your face with makeup. George had never worn makeup, but she pored over the range of colors on the left side of the page. Her heart raced in her chest. She wondered what it would feel like to really wear lipstick. George loved to put on chapstick. She used it all winter, whether or not her lips were really chapped, and every spring she hid the tube from Mom and wore it until it ran out. George jumped when she heard a clatter outside. She looked out the window to the front door directly below. No one was in sight, but Scott's bike lay in the driveway, the back wheel still spinning. Scott's bike! That meant Scott. Scott was George's older brother, a high school freshman. The hair on George's neck stood up. Soon, heavy footsteps climbed the stairs to the second floor. The locked bathroom door rattled. It was as if Scott were rattling George's heart inside her ribcage. The book I'm reading today is George by Alex Gino.